Rocksmith allows you to plug in any real electric guitar, because the game comes with a cable where one end plugs into your guitar and the other end plugs directly into your Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 or PC. So you don't need to buy an additional amplifier, because now your home theatre is your amplifier. When you start playing a song in Rocksmith, it'll actually start off very easy. And then we use a system we call dynamic difficulty to adjust how many notes you're asked to play, depending on your skill level. That means if you're very good, or if you already play guitar, then the game will get harder and harder to a point where you'll be playing every single note that was played on the record. But if, like me, you were a beginner and you're just starting out, then it'll stay easy and just be very gentle about how many notes you're asked to play. Outside of playing songs, we also have technique challenges, which break down exactly how to play things such as bends or slides or tremolos or the other articulations that are in the game. There is also a mode called Riff Repeater, which allows you to isolate any section of any song and then just work on that piece. In Riff Repeater, you can actually set your own mastery level and set your own speed. So if you want to slow one section down, you can do that. This is actually a new feature we added since the original release of Rocksmith. Outside of all the serious practice modes, we also have the Guitarcade, which features eight games which each help you work on a different part of your muscle memory. Rocksmith even supports multiplayer. This is especially exciting now that we have the addition of bass guitar. When you start playing in bass mode, you'll find the entire Rocksmith experience available to you, catering to the bass player. That'll include being able to play the Guitarcade games, as well as having specific technique challenges and bass arrangements for all of the songs that have bass guitar. We have a host of options that teach you to play the guitar. 